Good evening, everypony, and welcome to another recorded gameplay video with commentary as magic. I am, as always, Grand Paws. And I'm Ivory. I barely know what I'm doing right now. We're going to play some adventure. Specifically, I think we're running a couple of decks from the uh, ongoing Meticulous Talks Invitational Tournament. Yeah, picking random decks and using them blind, half blind seems like a seems like a way to go. Should be fine. I don't know what could possibly go wrong. I mean, I kind of, I think I pretty much know how this deck works. Score fifteen points. Yeah, that seems like an, that seems like a reasonable assumption here. I mean, that is also how my deck wins. Lame. Which, which, You're supposed to draw all the cards in your deck and say I win. I was going to say there's only one other win condition right now, so that or force a concession from the opponent, so. 103.4, your opponent can concede at any time. Yep, that's the one. So I'm going to run Changeling Pretender. I'm running Solano. Okay. So I'm going to use this as a starting problem. Ready? Uh, yes. Solano, huh? Is that the correct starting problem? I don't know. It looked... it's probably fine. Are you running on even ground? You're not running on even ground. Uh... I don't... uh... Probably not? I don't know. You wouldn't do that. Are you playing aggro or farm? I mean, I guess Solano can kind of do both reliably. Okay, we'll we'll try. Hmm. Grr. Okay, fine. We'll try this. Okie dokie. Roll for first? Sure. Twelve? This roll sucks. I want a better one. You can't have. Garbage. Okay. Um, I will keep this hand. I will begrudgingly keep this hand. I'm gonna name... Pink. Uh... This color... I named this before the game actually starts, correct? You do. I can never remember the way this is... Kindness. Okay. And at the start of the game, I will draw a card off of Royal Breakfast. I'll exhaust Pile of Presence as well as my main to draw a card. You can't. It wasn't during my main phase. Haha. -ha. But I but I said it was your main phase. And what I say is always true. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, do I actually do anything here? I don't think there's any benefit to doing anything yet. No, 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 uh, no 3AT yet. Thinking. Um, I'll pass. That's fine. All right. Well, do that. Get some points. And I will do that. In 
get that and get all the abilities on your boosted side. Uh, your abilities are, come on, let's show these ponies how it's done. Darn right. Go ahead and put that there. I forgot to turn that off. Do I benefit from anything else? Since I... It's probably safe. Uh, what, rem what removal are you running? I don't actually remember. It's, we'll go back to you. It's actually funny, despite the fact that both of these deck lists are public, um, I haven't looked at yours and you haven't really looked at mine. I mean, I looked at a version of it. I'm sure there was removal in it at some point. I know you have Soprano. Um, that's basically the only one I remember offhand. I mean, that's fair. Not really removal, but hand disruption. Well, let me think here. Okay, I will play Rushed Makeover on my main, naming Blue. Sure. Angel Wings? No. Cadence? We're going to spend nothing to play the Wonderbolts Wrap. Oh, okay. Paying two less for my next friend this turn. I. Cadence for three. Cadence for three. Okay. And what else do we want to do here? I will. Play Miss Main for two to get back the Wonderbolt Trap. I will draw, take nothing back because I don't have any cards there. I'll score one point. And pass the turn. Flip up a Tempest. That's fine. Move to Main Phase. I guess I'll just do that again. Okay, that's fine. That there. I'll draw a card. Yep. And back to you. Okay. Main face. Play the Wonderbolts wrap. Draw two. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, pass turn. End of turn. Discard Cadence for hand building. I think I docked the wrong thing. Because I definitely should be at four points in one AT. You sure should. My apologies. That's fine. Good catch. When will points be a spendable resource? Don't answer that question. The answer is never. It's another Tempest. Okay. I mean, phase again. Another, spend another two. And back to you. Okay. World's most exciting aggro start. You'll run out of Tempest eventually. Maybe. I don't actually know. I mean, there can only be one more. Unless I draw like a guard geese or something. I mean, that's kind of the plan. Okay. I think I am content to chill. Uh, let's ditch redeeming qualities. Okay, that's a card. Main phase. Let me think here. I'll pay to move up. Okay. Pay one. For a shoe shine. I'll draw a card. And then one for a bunyip. I'll draw a card. Okay. Score phase. Go for it. All right. Back to you. Okay. You have a few points. Yeah, but you have 11 AT and one of the pieces you need. Well, two of the pieces, technically. But that one's a lot less relevant. Let's go drawing. We can go again. And a little more. Just a moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to do math. Make me cry. OK. 
Okay. We are going to play the vote for one action token to frighten your shoe shine. Shoe shine is frightened. I'm going to play Heartfelt Apology. So I'll leave that there to keep this effect active. Okay. Play Soren for one action token. Okay. Play Angel Wings for one action token. All right. One second here. Turning off the AT and color rec check. Uh, retire Angel Wings to Soren. Boost his power by two. Play Miss Main for free. You got it, GG. GG. Uh, I'll go through the loop once just for demonstration purposes. That's fair. I have nothing in my hand that can uh, immediate speed deal with this. So, yeah, I will concede the game. You can show the loop for the people watching. So you play the Miss Main, um, choosing to get back the other Miss Main, obviously. And then you trigger Heartfelt Apology because you have scored one or more points. Uh, you put a friend with cost two or less from your discard pile into play, which is Angel Wings, which reduces the amount you pay for your next friend this turn by two. Retire Angel Wings again to Soren. Play Miss Main from hand, and repeat the process. It is important to note that you do the Cadence discount first, and then the Angel Wing discount so that it is actually free. Yes, that's correct. Cadence is the thing that makes this work because she allows you to pay one less to play your friends, but only to a minimum of one. So it is a good idea if your opponent is unfamiliar with the deck to specify the order you are applying those uh, pay less modifiers in that you want to apply Cadence first, like Ivory says, and then apply Angel Wings. The reason I played the vote there and didn't name events is because Cadence also protects herself and the combo by taxing the opponent by two to play events. So even if he did have an event, like a Sepakli attack, he wouldn't have had the AT to play. Yeah. Unfortunately, with cards like Cadence, uh, kind of hard to play events to disrupt that one uh, simply because of how, how big she is. It's unfortunate because if you look at my hand, Let's take a look. I frightened Shoeshine because I was afraid of Rutherford. Uh, if I had Rutherford, that'd be good. I was just like, okay, if he doesn't win this turn, I can probably burst out some nonsense. Oh yeah, wow. That would have been big. You would have gone up to six, so that would have easily been Night Glider plus Plushy Dash and man... Yeah, I ne unfortunately I needed two turns, but it is what it is. You had a slow start. Ish. I mean, it was relatively slow, but I, I guess it was okay. You played Tempests pretty early. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a battle of lightning fast decks. Either aggro is going to sit there and just blitz through, or combo is going to get the pieces it needs. Yeah. It's how it goes. Yep. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time. Until then, we have been Commentary's Magic. I am, as always, Grand Paws. Ivory Starlight. And we'll chat with you later. See ya.